I was knocked down and lying on the ground, but instead of coming forward to help me, the others just stood there and made fun of me. You wonder if you're too fat to stand in the way of others. Take up too much space. I grit my teeth and ask if nothing happened. Hello, my name is Tala, and I'm 17 years old. I'm in high school at Signature School. Please like and subscribe to hear my story and many other interesting stories. Almost two years ago, my father and mother divorced. After my mother found out my father was having an affair, he had his own family and she was going to settle abroad. At that time, it was only Oscar, my boyfriend, who was by my side and supported me. He told me to move in with him and I agreed. Oscar's house is very rich and there's no shortage of money, but I don't want to be a burden. So outside of school, I work part time. You see it too, right? My body is kind of oversized, but before turning into what I am now, I used to have a hot body, no different from the models. After experiencing family events and work-related stress, I developed phagomania. I eat regardless of my mood and timing, and only when my body takes in a lot of calories can I feel better. So in just a few years, I hit 176 pounds, receiving countless comments and jokes about my body. And each time, my mood was down and I continued to eat like a cycle. Today, Oscar asked me to go with him to pick out some clothes for the upcoming reunion of friends. When walking in the mall, I couldn't help but stop at the door of a high-end women's fashion store. There, a splendid red dress is displayed, probably inspired by roses. At that moment, I heard Oscar's bannering tone of voice. Let's go. What do you look at? You couldn't fit it anyway. I want to take a look for a moment. Huh. Such luxurious clothes I wear only make it worse. If you don't want to go, take the car yourself. Finally, I did not go into the fashion store and during the mall walk, even a suit I was not bought. The meeting took place on the weekend. I tried all the dresses that I had, but none fit. Even there were some that I tried to squeeze in, so it was torn, which is understandable because they were all my old dresses when I only weighed about 80 pounds. Perhaps due to waiting too long, Oscar comes in with his stylish suit and is extremely grumpy. Hurry up! I... I can't find the right clothes. Just wear something. No one will notice you. The feeling of sadness again rose, making me unable to control it and want to cry, but I did not react to his words, but chose a suit that fit best and then replaced it. When I arrived, the party was full of colorful neon lights. I timidly walked to Oscar's side because countless eyes were glancing at us. At this moment, someone who seemed to be Oscar's friend approached and excitedly started talking. Hey, are you here, Oscar? Can I be absent? This is... At the moment, he noticed my presence. <laughs> oh, this is my girlfriend, Stella. Say hello. Hello. Ah, uh, hello. You go over there and get something to eat. I'll say hello to my friends. I nodded obediently, and when I was not far away, I heard Henry's shrill voice. You haven't introduced your girlfriend to us for a long time, making us think that she's too beautiful for you to hide so well. Whoa, how? Didn't Violet have a beautiful face and a hot body like you before? Why do you refuse and fall in love with that girl? I didn't dare to stay and listen to that words, but stood still in front of the table full of food. The mood suddenly changed quickly when I smelled the aroma of the dishes on the table and couldn't help but start eating them frantically. Who is this? It is very impolite to eat. I don't know her. Or did she sneak in here to eat? Look at her body. No, no, I'm Oscar's girlfriend. What's so funny? Oscar is so handsome and so stylish. How could he date an ugly and voluptuous aunt like you? I could even hear the laughter of the people around me. I was angry, but I was getting used to it. And luckily, Oscar was on his way. Oscar! What happened? She said she's your girlfriend. Do you think that's funny? She's my girlfriend. Oscar's words surprised everyone at the party, but thanks to it, the argument also ended. It seems like everything will stop there. I was walking in Oscar's back, but had a foot got in the way and I fell flat on the floor. I couldn't stand up because my body was too heavy. Oscar, help me! You already know that you're not small, but don't even walk properly. No, someone put their feet out! Haven't you lost face enough? Stand up! 
Oscar's attitude hurt me deeply, and I caught sight of the girl's satisfactory expressions <laughs> at the party. Then we got together as a group and started playing the game, which ruled that whoever lost would be fine with alcohol. My drinking capacity is very poor and I don't like to drink. Oscar knows that. I sat on his left side and on his right was a very beautiful girl. I knew her name was Violet. Maybe because I'm too sensitive, but I can feel it. She has a grudge against me. This time, the loser is Violet, but instead of drinking, she turns to Oscar for help with a soft voice. Oscar, I don't want to drink. So, drink for her, Stella. What? I really can hide my surprise. I said drink. Oscar brought the glass in front of me and I tried to suppress my anger, holding the glass up and taking a sip. I've had enough. After the party was over, we both went home. I yelled at Oscar. Oscar, after all, am I your girlfriend? What are you mad about? You know that I can drink wine but still force me to drink on behalf of others. Still in front of me and cuddle with another girl? You just overdo it. What's wrong with drinking? I and Violet are old friends. Old friends see again, revisit the old story. Besides, she's better than you in everything. You're jealous of all the bullshit. You! The bastard! How can you say that? The bastard? Look at you, fat and messy. Do you think you deserve me now? Who? Who? Who has promised to take care of me and protect me? Stop talking bullshit. If you still want to cause trouble within a month, your body will not return to the way it was before. Then let's break up. Because I couldn't let go of Oscar. From that day on, I was forced by him to follow a very harsh weight loss diet not eating fast food containing calories. He even put a refrigerator lock on the internet to prevent me from eating unhealthy things while he was away. Snacks were also put in the cupboard and locked. Even all my money was confiscated by him for fear that I would sneak out to buy food. I was only allowed to eat salads, fruits, and drink water. And I had to skip extra classes and part-time work to go to the gym according to his arrangement. Today, I'm only allowed to eat one apple in the morning and then rush to the gym. I was starving. I thought I was going crazy when I saw the food the other people were eating. Almost, I stole the food from their hands. After struggling with the machines, I changed and went back to school. Just in time, the teacher was handing out snacks to the whole class. I stretched out my hand like a hungry tiger to stare at its spray. But when I was about to take it, thanks to teach... Miss, Stella isn't eating this stuff. She's losing weight. Oscar pulled them out of my hand and gave them back to her, causing the whole class to be noisy. Unexpectedly, <laughs> I heard dozens of malicious teasers from my classmates. I kept my head down and didn't say a word as usual. By lunchtime, my hunger had made it almost impossible for me to control myself. So I rushed to the food counter and devoured them, ignoring the surprising screams of the whole dining room. Oscar stopped me and I felt his anger. Stella, take a look at you now and see. Do you look like a human being? Furthermore, I told you, you could only eat fruits and salads. Who gave you those things? But I'm very, very hungry, Oscar. You want us to break up? No. It was only over when I listened to him and ate all the salads Oscar bought for me. After school, Oscar said that his family wanted to invite me home for dinner and stay overnight. And we'll go boating the next morning. Oscar's family mansion is so big and luxurious, I was almost overwhelmed by it. On the dinner table, in front of each person was a ration of the prime beef steak. I was so craving it that I just waited to eat it. There's potato soup, there's creamy spaghetti, and there's premium caviar. I heard from Oscar's mother that after dinner, there would be dessert and cocktails. Housemaid, let's change your ration to a salad. Oscar, just for a day, I want to eat meat. No. Salad is good for you. Why don't you give her meat? Mom, she has fat in her blood. Doctor said to limit meat and fish. Eating lots of fruits and vegetables is good for her health. Isn't that right, Stella? That's right, miss. I just could echo Oscar's words and try to eat up my salad, which was nothing more than paper. Finally, the caviar or dessert also goes up in smoke. The next morning, I deliberately woke up later so I wouldn't have to eat breakfast with Oscar's family. <sighs> According to Oscar's instructions, the chef prepared for me a banana. Recently, 
My body have no strength and my head is always feeling dizzy, but in the end, I just try to endure. After getting into the boat and wearing a life jacket, Oscar and his seven-year-old brother were paddling together in a sub boat. At first, everything was very peaceful, but later, Oscar's younger brother refused to sit and make the sub toss roughly. <laughs> Baby, if you do that again, our boat will turn upside down. You talk too much. When Oscar's brother had just finished a sentence, the boat heeled over and then overturned. Although the sub was still floating, all three of them fell into the water. Fortunately, we were wearing life jackets. It's all because of you. You're jinxed. You dared to blame others, obviously because of you. Shut up. It's not because of him. It's because of you. You're so heavy, the boat capsized. After that, Oscar ignored me. When I'm tired of fighting in the water, hugged his brother and swam to the shore. After half an hour later, I was able to go back home by myself. As a result, the next morning, when I arrived at school, I was so tired that I could only lie on my stomach at the desk, can't focus on the teacher's lecture. At lunchtime, I wanted to go to the infirmary to take a rest for a while, but when I stood up, my head was already spinning and I was fainting. When I opened my eyes again, I found myself in the infirmary. Can't you make other people worry less? I realized that Oscar was sitting on the edge of my bed. Yesterday, I was in the water for almost an hour. That's all. I thought giants like you must be very healthy. Oh yeah, even if you get sick, you won't be given an excuse to run away from exercising. At this point, I have almost lost all hope and love for Oscar. For all these years, no matter how much he's gone, I'll try to hold on. But everybody has a limit. Oscar, now it's my turn to say, let's break up. What did you say? Come again? I said, let's break up. I've had it with you. I move out of Oscar's house and out of his hellish life. And now I'm free to eat and drink what I want and not have to worry about anything. I went to a five-star restaurant. It was the first time I entered such a luxurious <laughs> place in the past because I didn't want to rely on Oscar. I was always thrifty and frugal, but now it's not necessary. I choose the best sellers from the menu and fill the table with them. Stella? I'm fortunate. I met Oscar in this place. What a coincidence. Hello? Ah, next to him is Violet. Who lets you eat those things? It's my business. You have no right to interfere. While saying that, I cut a steak and put it in my mouth, making Oscar ah. mad. Unexpectedly, right after that, he suddenly grabbed the tablecloth and pulled it out, causing everything on the table to fall to the ground. The dishes broke and the food splashed. Are you nuts? Where's security? Get this guy out of here! Although the two have broken up, Oscar still has no intention of letting me go. After that, he and Violet were thrown out of the restaurant. Oscar and I ended our relationship in a very unhappy way. Come to think of it, it must be annoying to run into each other at school. Thankfully, I followed my mother abroad to settle down and completely cut off contact with Oscar. When I was with my mother, I was taught to live a more balanced and healthy lifestyle, eating delicious but still very healthy food. Even if you eat too many calories, it's okay. Every day, run and go to the gym. Things that in the past I thought were hell, now it is my daily joy. You're probably wondering how Oscar is doing, right? When I saw him again, it was more than a year later, at our old friend's reunion. At first, I didn't even recognize him, because the Oscar of now has turned into a chubby guy. Yes, at least more than 200 pounds. I was told that after I left, Oscar was upset and broke down a lot, and for some reason, he started eating out of control and gaining weight. This time, he also brought his girlfriend, and she has a huge body as I did before. After all, I can only laugh. God knows how to make fun of people.